Well, well, I'm up for a bike ride. Oh my goodness. It's still cold, but yeah. I don't know if you can see it. I've got my trailer. I got my trailer hooked up with the water, with the empty water um, bottles. So I got to go get water. And those are the big bottles. I don't know how many. I think those are the. I don't know how many liters or gallons. I don't know. They're. I showed you what they look like. That's what they are. Anyway, they're way too heavy to carry. I even have a hard time carrying them, like, to the car, right? When I get a ride. What's this guy doing? He doesn't know. Right on. Look at the roads. Look at us. Look at this shit. Potholes everywhere, right? City never fixes them. They take all this uh, tax money, right? They're always charging you, like, all this money for taxes and stuff, and they never even fix the roads. Look. How you doing? <laughs> What's this person doing? Here's the ghetto queen fucking laundromat right here. I beg my pard. My language. What's wrong with me? I really am trying not to swear. I think it's my turn. Thank you. That's right. Look at this road. Look at this. You can hear it even. <laughs> my god anyway it's like I would rather not be riding my bike but I've got to get out here see this is me how you doing how you doing I got to get out here and do this water thing and you can't wait for anybody else to freaking decide if they're gonna give you a ride or not or what day like when I run out of water I need water because the Peterborough water that they charge you for is polluted, man. It smells like bleach. It smells like chlorine. It smells... I think you might be better off drinking the water right out of the swimming pool myself. Um, it's pretty bad. So... With that said... Yeah, and then they're charging you for the water. And then they have the nerve to say on their website that... The water meets the provincial regulation requirements. Well, I don't know what the requirements are, but they must be pretty freaking low, right? The bar must be set pretty low. This is a tricky one. Well, come on, get going. I don't have all day. Like, holy. They're in their nice... I never get that. You're in your nice warm car, right? With your heated seats and, like, your heated... Your heated seats and your heated fucking steering wheel and you got tunes going and the heat's blasting. Meanwhile, I'm out here in this, freezing my butt off on my bicycle here, right? Like, no motor. Freezing my butt off, but... No, I gotta wait for you. Like, come on, like, slow down. You're gonna get to work five seconds later? Like, big deal. What, you're gonna risk a guy's life on a bike so you can get to work five seconds earlier? Like, give your head a shake. Seriously. Anyway, this is the ghetto, eh? This is the hood. Look at these hoodlums. Yeah! Da -da -da. <whistles> Must be in the hood. <laughs> There's the old probation office. We quit that kind. We did. So I'm gonna stop for this guy because uh, I get a stop sign and he doesn't. But if I was driving and oh shit, if there was no other traffic, I might slow down and let the guy in the bike go because I do actually drive sometimes. I just don't have a car right now. So I'm hoping to change that. I'm almost out of breath because I haven't had proper coffee and I ran out of water last night and I was drinking pop. So that's like really bad.
But yeah, there's the probation office. We quit that kind. What's the mindset of somebody just to be walking down the middle of the road and like, oh, I'm not moving over. Oh, there's some cops over there. Sometimes these cops, if they get bored, right? They will pull you over here. We're in the ghetto. Sometimes these cops will pull you over if they get bored, right? So, and uh, in Ontario, you're not required for some strange reason to wear a bicycle helmet unless you're under the age of 16, I believe. But in other provinces, you are, like my province of British Columbia. So, are you doing? Do a YouTube video. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is the ghetto right here. You want to see the ghetto in Canada? Hold on. This is nothing compared to what you see in Detroit or Chicago or anywhere like that. But, yeah, this is nothing compared to what you'll see down there. But this is what we got. This is our ghetto, you know. What do you call it when they got, uh, when you see a porch and they got like couches and like living room chairs outside? Redneck yard furniture. Redneck lawn furniture, beg my pardon. So yeah, this is the ghetto right here. You know, this is the ghetto, man. Like this is where people are doing the wheeling, the dealing. Take a look. Does that not look ghetto to you? Fucking zoom in, I'll get to let this guy pass me. Oh my goodness, I just about drove into the snow. Oh my goodness, I just about had an accident. Can you imagine? It's okay. I'm gonna turn right. Anyway, I'm just about at the water place, so... Do you want to see where I get my water? You guys are so lucky I'm taking you on the tour. I will show you where I get my water, because you guys are special. That's right. I just really hope I don't drop my phone. <laughs> and I'm riding with one hand. So those cops back there, technically, they could be like, well, you're riding with one hand. Which I don't know if it's breaking the law, but... And they'll be like, oh, and you're holding your cell phone. No, oh, holy shit. Uh, ah. Anyway, should I just get my water? Yeah. I'm going to get my water and then, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Tim Hortons over there. This is where I get my water. This is the place, Rocky Ridge. I love this place, two bucks and you can fill up your water. So we're here now. All right, well, thanks for riding along. And um, yeah, respect the drivers if you're a cyclist and respect the cyclist if you're a driver. You both have to respect each other, right? It's a two way street. If you're riding a bike, you gotta respect the cars and if you're a car you got to respect the bikes so just respect everybody everybody wants to get where they're going everybody wants to arrive alive you know everybody's got a family to go to home to right so just just take care right i know this is my bike Ooh, check this out oh my goodness and i got this and i got this ah! <laughs> That's right, baby. Anyway, thanks for listening. And we'll talk to you later.